up Aries? This is Ashley Giller and this is a business reading for it could be career or business related. Sometimes people resonate as it pertains to their personal life as well. But I, my intention for this reading is to give you insight and clarity into your business and how to make it successful and how to get through whatever it is that you're going through right now. This is a general reading. If you would like a personal one, the link is in my bio. If it resonates, that's good. Use this information and it leads you literally to more life and more light. I had a reading that I did on my business and I had an opportunity available for me and I didn't act on the energy of that reading. It was supposed to be abundant. It was supposed to be successful. I did not act on that opportunity and I missed out and I don't want you to miss out like I missed out. So I do these readings to help people in business take advantage of the energy and overcome their obstacles and lead to more life and more success in their business. Um, yeah, because when I looked up at you know, I did another reading on the opportunity and, and Spirit told me, you didn't do the work that we told you to do. So you missed out on, it's bittersweet. They said it was bittersweet. Missed out on the opportunity and I'm, I'm mad at myself for that. But anyway, I do these readings so that I can help lead you into more life and more light in your business as well. The first card you got was the Storm Warning card which is the number 10 in the Renewal combination. This is telling me that this is for Aries that's in a business that is already or about to go through difficult times in business uh this but spirit is advising you yes you're about to go through a difficult time a lot of us go through difficult times in business i don't know any business that haven't been through a difficult time but know that you can get through this spirit is saying to look at it from a, not an emotional standpoint but a clear standpoint and a job the objective standpoint Stand up for your business. Be clear on your intentions. But with the renewal card, this is saying this is not an ending. Yeah, you're going through difficult times, but it's not time to quit. This is going to lead you to renewal. This this difficult period is going to lead you literally to rainbows. It's going to lead you to, in verbatim it says, it's going to lead you to a better place than what you've known to this point. So trust the process. Look at it from a clear perspective. Fight for your business. Um... Determine your intentions. What is your intentions for your business and stand up for that and, and stand on that. Always remember, though, that you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. So, yeah, it's difficult times ahead or right now. But with the number 10, it's the ending. It's not an ending. It's a new beginning. It's not an ending. It's a new beginning. And you have to get through this tough period in order to get there. The combination you have is perfect. I love how this reading goes together. So, remember we just said, remember I just said it's not the ending, it's new beginnings. Well, the very next card is the sun, which is what? The first, number one. It goes, you know, 10 reduces down to one. But anyway, this is just, this is awesome because what it's saying is once the storm is passed, there is new beginnings on the horizon. This is the birthing of new projects. This is blessings in your business this is growth in your business this is divine inspiration this is the culmination of an important new project the birth of a you could be writing or doing something like that but this is just vision coming to light that's why when they said establish and stand on your intentions do that because literally when the storm is over with this with the soulmate card clarifying the sun it's going to be better than you can imagine it's going to be growth and, and blessings in your business so establish your intentions now even though you're going through the storm stand tall and establish your intentions now so that when this storm is over you know what's coming and it's going to be better than you can even imagine but know that personal growth and new beginnings and new projects it also says you you, you may be a new way of communicating or you may have um you may establish new processes and, and new new projects and things of that sort but whatever it is it's leading to personal growth it's in your business is leading to and maybe even personal growth you know there are no mistakes so it could be leading to when you grow in your business you grow in your personal life anyway but know that it's leading to taking your business to a better place than it ever has seen before um then you can imagine that is so dope how it goes from 10 to 1. endings but new beginnings it's not ending this is not the end of your business this is the beginning this is new beginnings new communication, new creativity, new projects. So establish your intentions right now and write them down, whatever you need to do so that you can get through this storm and, and spirit say you can get through it because more is to come. I've already alluded to this, but I just want to mention because it's here, the growth card was also with the sun, the soulmate um, combination. But again, this is again, alluding to growth. This is new business. 
already said it anyway, but I just want to make sure I cover all the cards. This is growth. Your business is growing. In life, when we're growing, in business, when we're growing, we go through we go through a storm. It's just a part of the process sometimes. And once you get through it, and once you stand tall in your intentions, and you don't fold, it's going to be growth in your business. Okay. So once you overcome this storm and then you experience the growth, the level of growth in your business that's to come, you will have more insight and clarity. With the six sock, no. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron. This brings third eye knowledge. This brings insight. This brings brings clarity. You're gonna understand your business and on a whole new level. You'll have a whole new perspective on the processes of your business, the vision for your vision, the vision for the future, and just basically the operations and, and how to make money and financials. You'll have a whole different perspective and level of um respect in the business this is just a whole new insight and clarity on how to operate your business but it also attunes to making plans for the years ahead as well like a five-year plan a 10-year plan you may have that already but once you overcome this storm and you can start on it now you can write it down now and set your intentions for the next five and ten years now remember this isn't the ending this is new beginnings and personal gro and, and growth in your business but once you get there it brings new insight it brings new clarity Start setting your intentions now. How do you? What do you see your business in five years? What do you see your business in ten years? Because it'll still be around. Um, but once you overcome this storm and you experience this level of growth, you'll have a whole new understanding of the entire process, the entire operations, the financials, and everything to take it to the next level, to take it to new heights. Because you have that wisdom, you, you've experienced the storm, you've experienced growth, and now you're experiencing or you're preparing it for new levels at this point. Then you have this clarified by. The forgiveness card and I think it just alludes to personal evolution you know evolving your business evolving again it's taken to the next level and you have new insight and clarity so you can evolve your business this may even attune to setting up new operations somewhere or um, trying to look for the term scaling this could allude to scaling your business as well but it brings peace. When you get to a level of understanding and insight and clarity on the third eye, now, you know, to that new level of understanding of your business, and you have the ability to take it to new heights, there's a level of peace on it because you know what you're doing. You've already overcame the worst. You've already came to overcame the worst of times, and you've experienced the best of times. So now, at this point, you'll be thinking, Okay, where do I see it in five years and ten years? How do I scale? How do I make more money? How do I grow and evolve the business operations? Aries, I just love your reading because it goes hand in hand, like one, two, three, four, five. You know, so after the after um, the evolution of your business and, and having new perspective and insight and clarity and, and scaling your business and seeing it um, from higher levels of understanding, you have the journey card. Oh my god, I love this. And the journey card, the journey card alludes to locations and self mess and coupled with the gratitude card. The gratitude card adds self mastery. You're a master at this point. Stepping into self mastery and helping others as well. Um, being about your business instead of just talking about it, raising the consciousness of others. But this is about helping others to succeed in business as well. But it's also self-mastery and mastering your top. When you become a master, you become a teacher. You start teaching other how, others how to do it as well. But with the journey card, this could also allude to new locations. I, I believe this is new locations. Yep, it says this card can signal a new residence, a movement residence, or job location. And it says your plan should go off without a hitch. You're going to be a master and you're going to take it to new levels and new locations. Remember we just said, I just said scaling. And this goes hand in hand with scaling. And I just want to talk about the overall energy of the reading because I forgot to go over that um, in the beginning. We talked about the storm being the first card, which is basically a, um, also alluding to the overall energy. But we have the rejection card. Right now, you may be feeling rejected because you're going through the storm. You may be feeling, um, you may be hurting a little bit because your business isn't operating at the level that you know that it can. But no, again, don't forget that this is a transition to new, to new growth, to new opportunities, to new business, 
to um, new levels of living, new levels of life in your business. And don't let right, what's happening right now get to you. Know that it's bigger than what you see right now. It's bigger than what's going on. The storm will be over. The storm is not going to last forever. This is not ending for your business. This is new beginnings. This is new life. This is growth. This is mastery. What's happening right now is going to help you to be a master in your industry and, uh, and help you to teach others to be masters as well and have new locations and expand your business operations. Yes, it may be a storm right now. Maybe you, be feel maybe you are feeling rejected. We have Archangel Gabriel. And I love the number 39, too, because it alludes to um, divine. It, it's like what's happening is it's supposed to happen right now. And it's leading to growth. So sometimes we have to go through the storm to grow. Yeah, you may have experienced troubles, but um, you may even need to communicate with others. Who knows? With the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel being on the bottom of the deck, it could be enlightened communication but that takes this business to the next level but what i'm getting though is this storm that you're going through is going to lead you to new business new opportunities growth connections self-mastery business mastery and scaling um, vision and lead your business to a new level that you have yet to reach if this helps i, I really do, do hope that this reading has helped you but if you would like a personal reading to clarify that this is for you or to get more insight into your personal business and your situation, click the link in my description and I would love to help you. I wish you light. I wish you more light. And I wish you abundance in your business and life. Peace. This would I've manifested over $200,000 so far, but the most important thing that I've manifested is my connection with spirit. I have the ability to communicate with spirit guides that give me strategy. They help me to attune to hurdles along the way, and they keep me on a straight path towards the manifestation of my goals and making sure that I, when I do something wrong, they let me know to keep me in the process of manifesting the desires of my heart. And I want to use my power, my connection with spirit to help you manifest your goals as well. If you want to manifest a new job, if you want to manifest a new car if you want to manifest more money if you want to manifest more life a divine partner a baby whatever it is that you are yearning for allow me to assist you and allow my spirit guides to assist you in your manifestation process by providing you with bi-weekly guidance and strategy towards the manifestation of your goals i'm looking for 33 people to help and if you feel like you're one of those 33 people hit the link below thank you good luck and peace